watching this video, bro. I'm probably not gonna put any ads in this video. I just really need to just talk to y'all, man. <sighs> Listen, bro. If you're always self-sabotaging, if you feel like you're not worth it, if you feel like you're depressed, you got low self-confidence, low self-esteem because you're overweight, you fat, maybe you think you're stupid, maybe I don't care what it is, bro. I'm here with you, man. I tell you guys all the time, I suffer from depression, I suffer from low self-esteem, but I try not to talk too much about it because I just don't want to put that negativity out there like that, but we got to talk about it again. We have to. Listen, I keep sabotaging myself. Look, I'm going to tell y'all, think about it. I was with my ex, right? She didn't do nothing wrong, bro. She didn't do nothing wrong. I sabotaged our relationship. Relationship doing great. We was making money. YouTube channel growing. But guess what? I felt like, Brent, who the fuck are you? You about to be a you about to be a power couple. Nah, nigga, who are you? I have to I uh I follow uh, his girl. Um What do I follow her? I mean I checked out her channel. And um I think I seen this guy before. And he mentioned his girl before. He made videos before. And one thing I want to say is that if your ex ain't making videos about you, don't even make videos about her. Like you gotta, you gotta move on. You know, from so far, it looks like, it looks like he still has feelings for her. But let's see. You know. Darkness within me, and I have this negativity within me that's always been there ever since I was a kid, and it's always been holding me back. Even when it came to that, like I said with my ex, it was just like in my ear, Brandon, what the fuck? You think you gonna be a power couple? You think you about to be rich and famous? You think you about to woo woo woo? Guess what ended up happening? I ended up sabotaging our relationship. She didn't do nothing wrong. She tried her best to work it out with me. I fucked it up and I fucked it up. It is what it is. Y'all know how I always tell y'all I met Odell, we was kicking it woo woo woo. I always tell y'all that at the Fashion Nova event. Bro, cause I self sabotaged myself that night too. So I was with all the celebrities, we all kicking it, drinking it, having having a great time. I was with Swaggy P, Odell, I told y'all Kid Boo, was, it was a whole bunch of celebs, we all kicking it, right? Having a great time, like for real. Odell was like, hey, let me get your Instagram, man, like when I come out to LA, I'll hit you up, let's kick it, like you cool as fuck. I told him like, oh bro, I don't have an Instagram. Then he even said like, oh, okay, that's cool, let me get your number, so I just hit you up. And I was just like, nah, nah, it's cool, like I'm busy, woo woo woo, and he was just like, okay. I self-sabotage again. Why? Sounds like you got an ego, bro. You going <laughs> You just basically flaked on old Dell Beckham. <laughs> you just like... I don't know. Because I don't feel like I'm... I, I, don't, I don't even fucking know why, bro. I really don't even know why. I really don't know why, cuz... Even today... I'm out driving in my car, right? I have the top down, chilling, driving in my car. This is before I shaved and cut my hair. I just shaved and cut my hair right now. So this is before I did that. So I was looking buffed. In. I didn't care. Anyway, I go to the gas station. I meet DDG. Me and DDG talking. I'm telling him, like, oh, yeah, your music doing good, whatever, whatever. And he's like, oh, yeah, you do look familiar. Obviously, he didn't recognize me because, y'all know, I wasn't shaving or cutting my hair. So I didn't look like this. I didn't look like my normal self. So he was just like, you do look kind of familiar. Anyway, he then was just like, yeah, let me get your Instagram. And I told him, like, nah, bro, when I hit a mill, I'm going to hit you up. And he was just like, okay. <laughs> but listen, that's what I'm saying. I always... I think he has, like, this self-image that he f feels like he has to, like, obtain. And I find I find that with, like, people that are sticks still, like, stuck in the Matrix, they have, like, this self-image that they have on themselves. And they have to, they have to like, you know showcase that out to the world and you know what i mean and if it doesn't go their way if it doesn't reciprocate back and they they get disappointed they get depressed what type of reality is that where somebody says hey let me get your number you'd be like no wait till i get a mill that's almost like like you think you're a celebrity already or something like that you know what i'm saying so sabotage bro i be having celebrities in my dms being like hey I'm in LA, I see you in LA, you do reactions, we can link up, you can react to it, and I'll be there with you. Y'all see how Zeus and B-Lu do? Where they be having celebs? Bro, I've had like three celebrities hit me up. I'm like, yeah, you can do a reaction, I'll be in your video, you seem cool as fuck. I never respond. Bro, y'all know Overtime that handles uh, sports? Overtime sent me an email like a month ago saying that they want me to be a partner, saying that they want me to react to sports and they want me to be a partner with them. 
I never responded. I always self-sabotage. Look at my music. My music is fire. But look at the music videos. I'm not putting hella effort into it. Why not? Because I'm blocking myself. I'm always fucking blocking myself and I'm fucking done, bro. I'm done. So if you're like that, we gotta stop doing this, man. Other people are not gonna understand. Other people, they just not gonna understand. People tell me all the time, Brandon, why do you always call yourself ugly? Why do you think you ugly? You're extremely good looking. But for some reason, I just don't know. I don't think I look good. That's why sometimes I don't take care of myself. That's why sometimes I come on camera. I haven't even brushed my teeth and y'all don't even know, bro. That's why I come. He's a handsome guy, you know. He's he's what, um, he's very L.A. as the tattoos, the dread. He looks good, man. He's what, he's what, uh. Like, if people wanted to make a character, you know what I mean? It will be him. You know what I mean? He got everything you need. The chain, the beard, everything. You know? Come on camera sometimes. I be looking tired as fuck. Because I just... I'm, man, I'm not going to complain no more, man. I'm not complaining. I'm going to just change. I'm done, cuz. I'm fucking done, bro. And if you like me, we just got to stop doing this. Why do we feel like we're not good enough? Why... Do we self-sabotage? Why? I'm done with it, bro. I can make all the excuses in the world. Oh, my childhood. Oh, this. Oh, my dad talked about me my whole life. Called me stupid. Called me this. Called me that. Called me this. I don't care. I'm leaving all of that behind. I thought I'd been left that shit behind. But here I am still self-sabotaging. Think about the video I made yesterday about old girl. Automatically, if you watch that video, I'm talking about myself. I'm like, oh, she wouldn't talk to me. She saw me like, oh, this nigga ugly. Oh, he fat. She didn't say nothing like that, bro. I made all of that shit up. So first she saw, okay, this dude, okay, he got some clout. He got some followers. Okay, let me see what's up. She saw me and she was like, nigga, you ugly. Nigga, you fat. <laughs> Listen, bro, we all take care She didn't say nothing like that. I made that shit up. Oh, she didn't want to talk to me. Who knows? She probably think I'm hella attractive. But I made... It sound like he needs... I don't know. It sound like he needs help, man. He's, like, very emotional. You know? And, you know, what I've... I keep going back to the Matrix and being blue pill, man. It makes you emotional. A lot of the things he's talking about, that's stuff from, that's not real. You know what I'm saying? That's not real. Be careful what you consume, like the media and news and stuff like that. Because they almost feed you a story where you believe that is true. And, you know, I'm in New York, so I've never really been to L.A., Although I heard L.A. is very, like, you know, everybody walks around. They think they're the next celebrity and all this fame is in your in your air. And it's, it's a bunch of noise. You get what I'm saying? You got to learn how to quiet it down, you know, and, and stick to reality. Reality can't go wrong with reality. What, what is on front of you? Because that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That shit up, talking about me. She don't want to talk to me. She said I have a shit. She said I ain't got no fresh fucking lineup. She said I'm overweight because I gained a little pound. Bro, I'm always fucking self-sabotaging. No, I'm done. I'm done, bro. I'm fucking done, man. Give me a second. If you're like me, just let me know down in the comments. We got to stop. We got to stop. You got to know that you fucking work. You got to know. Look, man, I'm getting emotional. Hold on. Pause. Uh, is this over? Oh, okay, I think it's over. Yeah, bro, I feel for this guy. You know, this this is this is something that all guys go through. This emotional state. It's very vulnerable to be on camera crying like that and stuff like that. The only thing I would say is that a lot of this stuff, like you see how he meditated at the end, or. 
you know, some people believe in like affirmations. A lot of those stuff don't really work. You know, it's all about the mindset. Once you accept things on how they really are, that's why the red, this is where the red pill comes in. You know, it, it just gives you the truth, you know, and I, just from hearing this guy speak, I could tell he's like, he has like a blue pill mindset stuck in the matrix. He said things like power couple, uh, things like celebrity. You get what I'm saying? You know, these are things that like a lot of blue pill people like believe and praise. They put on a pedestal being a celeb, um, being having a power couple, making more money. He mentioned uh, followers when I get to a million followers, these little things that when you, they don't really phase you. Like when you become red and you start looking at things in reality, they don't really phase you like that. So I hope, you know, he gets some help and, you know, this it's, 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 it's is a real thing. You know, I saw the title of the video. I was like, I got to click on it because I think it'll be a good thing to react to. But you know, but shout out to this guy, you know, he's a very successful guy, and uh, I just wish him the best, you know, I wish him the best, uh, handsome, you know, check out his music, you know, he's just the emotional side, that's it, emotional side, he, you know, he gets that taken care of, and he'll be fine, but um, what do you guys think, uh, comment below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, subscribe. Hit the like button. It will be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys soon. One, one, one out. Peace.